Hey folks, this is Phil with C-Choice. Today I have with me a handful of various C-Choice signaling devices. We're going to be demoing them and testing them out to see if they reach the amount of decibels as we advertise. Um, as you may know, there's different laws and regulations depending on your local waters. So you'll definitely want to check those before taking my word for it. Um, but I do believe most uh, recreational boats do require some kind of signaling device, whether it's a handheld whistle to a eight ounce air horn or an one of the various electronic horns we have here. I'm gonna start opening them smallest to largest and see how uh, they measure out. So starting smallest from largest, we have the Streamline Safety Whistle, part number 46041, uh, attached to a lanyard, meets US Coast Guard requirements. We're going to the classic uh, referee style whistle, as I like to call it. It was attached to a lanyard. It has the ball on the inside. It meets US Coast Guard requirement. This is for part number 46011. Next, we have a similar uh, ball style whistle that can be called the referee whistle. It has a shorter lanyard leash. It, you know, it clips on. It's probably quite nice if you're wearing a life jacket with a strap in it. This uh, is part number 11727. Okay, so the pump blast air horn, like I mentioned before, it's uh, manually powered. Um, like this one here is rated at 110 decibels, right? So now let's, uh, let's put them to the test. So simply just got to push air through here and uh, see how loud we can get. <laughs> Next, we have the mini signal horn kit, which is a 1.4 ounce um, can of gas with a very small trumpet here. So our last gas powered can is the classic eight ounce Sea choice air horn. Um, comes with a trumpet. See how loud we can go. All right, so we're on to our first electrical powered signaling device. This is part number 14501. It's the compact single horn. Next up, we have our electrical powered uh, compact twin horn. Next, we have the uh, drop-in hidden horns. Um, these uh, horns are not wired, so we're using a quick disconnect to power these horns. Um, so this one here is part number 14611, rated to 107 decibels. Um, let's give it a whirl. So here's another model of Sea Choice drop-in hidden horns. Um, this one is rated to 111 decibels. Um, it has you know, both a black faceplate or a white. This is what it looks like without it. And then it is not wired, right? So it has these terminals. So we'll connect uh, our disconnect to try out the sound and measure the decibels. have our electric hidden horn, part number 14571. So this one here it comes with a couple different components. You have your grill, your electrical connectors, depending on how you want to set it up. Um, you can use a quick plug system, or here we're going to be using two terminals. That's what I have wired to our battery. So we put our two electrical connections here. Now we want to get power to these two terminals. Using a quick disconnect, slides on just like that. Next we have our compact single trumpet horn, uh, 12 volts, uh, rated to 108 decibels.
last we have our compact dual trumpet. This one is rated to 110 decibels. Each horn individually is wired, as you'll see here. So, a lot of different options available to you depending on your activity. I hope you found this video useful and feel free to drop us any questions. Thanks and have a great day.